What's up, you two? Welcome back to another video. So the weekend was that pack up. It's a marathon, you're going to get loud. I can buy you that new Birkin, baby, act up. I can put you in that Benz, it don't matter. If you are new, welcome if you're not, welcome back to my channel. So, y'all, as you can see by the title, today's going to be a girl talk video. This video has been highly requested. Like, everybody wanted me to do this video so bad. And I've been wanting to do this video because I feel like I can tell y'all some stuff, so... <laughs> Yeah, I asked, I asked um, my TikTok followers and my Instagram followers to, like, give me topics to, like, you know, talk about or whatever during the video. And y'all gave me some good topics. So, uh, without further ado, let's get right into the so, video. Before we get into the video, y'all, um, before we get into the video, y'all got me a little snack. I had a Slim Jim, but I don't know where it went, so. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is insecurities. Um, me, personally, I don't have any insecurities, but I feel like things that people can, like, you know, help them uplift their self about something they're insecure about is embracing it. Like, say, for instance, you're insecure about, like, um, like your body or something. I feel like posting it and loving yourself, like, loving yourself more than anything, I feel like posting your body and stuff like that. Not, like, you know, being grown and stuff like that. But like posting it and just just loving yourself, like you have to love yourself, like. <laughs> but yeah, for insecurity, I feel like you have to love yourself, or anybody can bring you down about the small stuff that you're insecure about. But I feel like you shouldn't be insecure about anything. Like God made you the way you is, and that's how it's gonna be. That's how you want you to be, so that's how you're gonna be. So I feel like it's nothing really to be insecure about. You just gotta embrace it and love yourself, or nobody else will. Like. That's really all I gotta say about it. The next thing somebody said is how do I deal with having a bad day? To be honest, I just lay in my bed and just be on TikTok really. I don't really deal with having a bad day. I try not to deal with like little stuff that make me upset because I'm start crying, like not crying, but I'm gonna be sad. I don't like being sad. So really how I deal with it is just be on TikTok, making TikToks, talk to my friends or or eating or something like that. Like that's really that's really all I can do for it for it. nothing we really can do. Or if I have a chance to go out and go do something, I'll go out and go do something so I won't have my mind on whatever I'm having a bad day about. Okay, I got this one a lot. Somebody said high school advice and um life after high school. Okay, high school advice I can give to y'all is don't call everybody y'all friend everybody is not your friend i don't care if they text you every day see you every day hang out with you in the hallways every day go everywhere with you. everybody is not your friend i promise you that and let it like i'm telling y'all everybody is not your friend even in middle school high school anything anywhere everybody not your friend like you you can't you can't call everybody your friend that's one thing the second thing is stay to yourself you do not have to be in everybody click everybody gang everybody group like you don't have to be in all that just to you know have friends like that i feel like if you stay to yourself you'll be in less drama and less like your name will be in less stuff around school like if you stay to yourself you don't got nothing to worry about like you can still have friends but you gotta limit like you know to stuff you do and stuff like that like if you stay to yourself your life will be way easier in high school i promise you. third thing focus on your grades and do not slack y'all i'm telling y'all in high school especially in ninth grade ninth grade is when is when everybody like you know, play around, goof around, da da. Cause me personally, I did that, and that's why I messed up at. So, in ninth grade, that's what it's real like. Ninth grade really counts. Ninth and tenth grade it really counts. Cause when you get to eleventh and twelfth grade, you're gonna be like, dang, I should did this and this and this, so I won't be behind, you know, and stuff like that. So, don't let your grades slack. Go to some tour with you, y'all. Get y'all work done. Like, do y'all work. Don't be behind your work. Don't procrastinate your work. Because me, I used to hate, like, when I had, like, if I had, like, a bad grade or something like that, or if I was behind, I'll always do my work because I don't like seeing my grades bad. So, don't slack on y'all work. Like, that's going to put y'all all the way behind, especially in ninth grade. Do not slack on your work in ninth grade. Like, don't fill no class in ninth grade. And if you do, do that junk in summer school. Do it over. Don't wait till the last minute. Like, I'm telling y'all, wise words for me. But that's what I did from back there. I graduated, but I'm telling y'all, don't slack on y'all work. The last thing I can say is, don't be running behind these little boys and these little girls. Because I promise you, not talking to them, they talk to your friend too. Or they talk to the girl you sitting next to in class. Like, I promise you. Don't really be caring about this relationship for real because it's not gonna last. Like they be in everybody's face, everybody being everybody's face in high school. The county is little. Everybody know everybody. Like it's it's never gonna be just you and them. I promise. Like it's not gonna be that. So just really focus on yourself. That's all I can say. Focus on yourself in high school. Eleventh, maybe twelve, you can start. You know, looking for somebody to be with or whatever, whatever the case may be. But ninth and tenth grade, 
Nah, baby. We need to focus on that work. Focus on that work. I promise. Okay. The next thing somebody said is um feminine tips. Um, only thing I can say about that really is take a shower every day, get some good lotion, some good perfume, you know. And yeah, like I don't know, like literally take a shower, wash up, smell good, like I don't know. And like for like um exfoliating stuff like that, I use Tree Hub Shea Scrub. Oh, it's over there, but I'm not going to get it. But yeah, I use that, and yeah, and. That's really it. Like, this one I got a lot. Somebody said relationship advice. Personally, I don't know the way to be giving y'all relationship advice, like, at all. Like, when I say at all, I mean at all. But what I really can say is get you somebody that's, that you know, like, that you know is, like, get you somebody that you know is in it how you in it. Like, for example, like, don't have nobody wasting your time or... Y'all yeah, really can't, I really can't be giving y'all a list of advice because it just, it sounds so stupid coming out of my mouth, but don't have nobody wasting your time. Like, if you know it's red flags, like, say something. Don't ever, don't never, um, don't never have a closed mouth because closed mouth can never get fed. So, I feel like if anything ever bothering you, let it be known. Tell them. And if it don't change, then that's on them. If, if it don't change, then you gotta change. And by that, I mean fall back or care less or you know don't be so put into the relationship if you see the other person not um be how you is i don't really know how to explain to y'all but what else can i say also don't put in more effort than they putting in because that would literally drain you like if you see that you putting in your like you trying your best you putting the most effort you doing this you doing that and they give you the bottom of the fucking chip bag then let it go like seriously because it's not gonna change they're gonna keep doing that over and over again and you're gonna keep trying to put in more effort and they're gonna show you why in the most effort also y'all know everybody holler out communication and key communication is key but honestly to me consistency is key like you 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 can't act one way like a couple weeks and then next week you acting all dry and all this because now i'm be like now i'm gonna wonder like what i did to you or why something off or it feel off or something like that so i feel like consistency is key because once you throw it off, I'm throw it off. Now the whole relationship throw it off. Now we just all throw it off. Like, you know, so that's how I say consistency is key. Communication is key, don't get me wrong, because if you're not communicating, you know, it's always going to be a misunderstanding. And get somebody who communicate with you and who understands you. Not communicate just, just to be listening, but communicate to listen and understand. Because if you communicate and you don't understand it, then it's just going in one area out the other. Like, it's like it's not being said, it's not being heard, anything like that. So make sure when y'all communicate, y'all being understood also. And the last thing I can say about relationship advice is love the person how they, how they need to be loved and vice versa. Like, if you're not loving them how they need to be loved, it's not going to come off as love. It's going to come off as something else. So if they tell you a specific thing, then do that or, you know, or care for that or something like that. Like, like make them know that you hurt them or something like that so they can know, like, oh, I taught them this and they remember so they're doing this type shit, you know? So I feel like that's one thing but like i said I, i'm not the one to give less advice because i'm right here i'm right here i'm right here at it so i'm not the one but yeah that's all i can really say about relationship advice. okay somebody said what do i do on my downtime um lay in my bed literally all i like to lay down i like to be in my room like i stay in my room 24 7 i don't like to be bothered by people i like get irritated by people really fast so on my downtime i really just be on tiktok like i love tiktok or like, i get up and make videos or make tiktoks or if i have a youtube video to make i make a youtube video or i'm eating talking to my friends talking to whoever like i just be chilling i don't really do too much i don't really be in a mix like that all right somebody said um mental slash emotional health y'all i feel like y'all mental health is so important because if not whatever them thoughts is and them feelings like having those type of thoughts and feelings will literally drain you and it make it'll make you depressed at a sense like you you feel so lazy you want you don't want to do nothing you don't want to go nowhere you don't want to talk to nobody you just want to be to yourself like i feel like mental health is so important i feel like people don't really take that as serious as they should but an emotional health um, I feel like it's okay to cry, like, 
if you if you feel a type of way or if you've been feeling like a certain type of way for a long period of time i feel like it's okay to cry like let it out like everybody cries it's okay to cry because if you don't let it out it's gonna be having a lot of build up anger and that's not really good so i feel like if you're in your room and you just need to let it out let it out like cry it's okay to cry baby just cry like just let it out but yeah mental health is very important like i don't care what i'm about to say because that's how people get depressed because they let their thoughts and stuff eat them up or they or they have feelings and thoughts that they can't control that they don't have no control over it and they can let them eat them up and yeah so i feel like for mental health you really just gotta focus on yourself and be better for yourself like like have goals and stuff like don't allow so much stuff don't allow yourself to do or feel a certain type of way of something that you can't control i hope that makes sense like oh i really hope that makes sense if not just let me know if i sound stupid but don't allow stuff that you can't control like overtake your body or overtake your mind because that will drain you like really bad because all right somebody said how to move on in peace this falls upon relationship advice i am not the one to tell y'all how to move on or anything like that because me personally yeah if you know you know i feel like moving on takes a long time moving on takes up here like you you gotta want to do it to do it like if you know you don't want to move on for real don't be like yeah i'm gonna move on and you know that's not where your head is that's just where your mouth is but to move on i feel like if you really ready to move on for real you can um delete their number or unfollow them on social media or block them or whatever the case may be but sometimes it's different for different people like sometimes you, it's better to take it slow than just doing everything in one thing so to take it slow i feel like just stop talking to them gradually and you know stuff like that but moving on like takes a, a lot especially if i've been together for a long time so really just don't pay them no mind for real like have a distraction, not a distraction with another person, but a distraction with like a hobby or something like that. Because if you just, if you if you're trying to move on and you have a distraction with another person, all that's doing is making you forget about them. But like when little shit happen, like okay, you can have somebody to talk to while you're trying to move on, but you're still gonna be thinking about the other person. Like you have to move on for yourself before you can go on to somebody else. Because if you have everything that you have built up on you and you take it to another person you're not gonna be the same you're not gonna like it's not gonna come off right it's gonna be off everything gonna be off so i feel like it really takes yourself to move on you just gotta really focus on yourself and just forget about whoever or whatever the case may be and just find stuff that you enjoy doing and don't really have your mind all up on them and stuff like that because you're just gonna keep thinking about them the more you keep thinking about them the more you're gonna want to keep talking to them and you're not gonna be able to move on so moving on in peace literally just block them if you want peace block if you block them on everything in social media your numbers phone everything there's no way they can contact you unless they just real delusional and email you and text now a number and you and shit like that and still even if you still don't got an answer so that's how i feel like if you really want to move on you can move on but if you're delusional like me then you're not gonna move on so if this was a real requested one everybody said life after high school oh my gosh y'all i feel like they need to teach y'all stuff well, not teach y'all they need to teach us stuff in school about after we graduate high school because graduating high school like after high school it literally hits you like i promise like y'all i graduated how many months ago may june june july like september October. i graduated five months ago and i swear to god like it's just been like what the heck is this like everything started becoming real you be having you start to have bills like and if you're going to school well if you're going to school then it's different but me personally i don't think i'm going to school so i really to be working or whatever but life after high school really hits you because now you have to pay for everything yourself like some people already already is paying for everything they stuff in high school but now everything you gotta pay for yourself you gotta start making your own doctor's appointments business appointments um checkups you know start doing everything yourself and i feel like like after high school some parents they they automatically like as soon as you graduate you adult now like you gotta do everything by yourself da, 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 da. and i feel like it shouldn't really be like that because like we're still learning like we literally just graduated high school we're still learning half of stuff that we don't even know yet like but i like, got to high school it do hit you like you i feel like you need to have a plan like you need to have a plan like if you're not going to school have a plan and if you're going to school it's still gonna hit you because some people go to school and they can't have no job at school now you're a broke college student don't got no money you survive enough for cafe food and going to class every day and the little money that you had saved up if you do save up 
and some people don't know how to save so some people went to college with no money like it's really hard out here y'all like <laughs> i swear like it's really hard like i don't know i don't know y'all for real like it's it's crazy like like after high school you gotta start worrying about credit you gotta start worrying about bills you gotta start worrying about what you finna do in life um where you finna go because some people don't like some people parents be like once you graduate you gotta get out of my house and i feel for those people because that's so sad but, but my mom's not saying that but yeah it's just like it, like you really adult after you graduate high school like well not really after you as soon as you graduate like the summertime it's not you're not gonna feel it during the summertime you're gonna feel like oh i'm free i'm gonna turn out da, da, da. but as soon as that next school year roll around and, and you start but you're going to feel it like you're going to feel it you're going to like it's going to hit you so i really feel like really the one thing i really can say is save up save 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 because i'm a bad saver and i didn't save nothing but i'm always making money so but save up y'all literally save up especially especially if you're going to school that's all i can say and make sure make sure like your like you have somebody there for you and somebody you can go to just in case you want to talk to them or something like that anything like that but yeah okay so much they have to deal with drama at school personally stay out of it like stay don't be messy don't be around messy people like don't like if, like you have a friend group and you're like messy this is yourself or you can have a friend group and you know they messy and all this but you don't have to associate yourself with the mess they they contribute to because now you in it and you in drama and now you're gonna run around school so really just stay out of it like don't um associate yourself with people who real messy and drama and all that because yeah all i can really say is all i can really say is just stay out of it like don't have no messy friends like that, that's not cute especially in high school because people look at you different people look at you people notice that okay somebody said opinion on friends um i feel like now in age People just be friends with people just to be friends with people just to say they have friends. Like, me personally, I only have a couple friends. I can count on my fingers how many friends I have, but I be wishing I have more friends. But I want friends that's like me, if that makes sense. Like, friends who do stuff I do, friends who like stuff I like to do, and stuff like that. So, I be wanting friends all the time. Like, I be wanting to make new friends, but people be weird. Um, make sure your friends are genuine. Make sure there's no, make sure you don't have friends that envy you or that's, that, that's low-key jealous of you because... That's going to rub off the wrong way and y'all going to end up falling out. And you can notice that. Like, you can notice that real easily if somebody jumps of you or something like that because they start doing stuff you do. Or, I'm not saying it's like your friend can't do stuff that you do, but you will, you will peep. Like, you will see. They doing stuff that you doing, but like in an envy type of way, like, oh, I'm doing better than her type shit, you know? Hey. So, somebody said self-care and self-love. I feel like you really have to love yourself before anybody else do because if you don't love yourself nobody not gonna love you like you gotta love yourself before anybody else do like love yourself for you like you're a beautiful human being so you need to love yourself like and then worry about who loves you after that because you need to love yourself first you your first love and then you need to worry about whoever loves you after that so okay um do stuff that make you happy do stuff that make you happy buy stuff that make you happy um be around people who make you happy don't be around people who bring you down all the time and don't want to see you win and that's jealous of you all that because then you don't feel that and they weird that's all i can say weird like you notice anybody can notice weird i can notice weird with one of my eyes closed you're weird all right somebody said how to get over a breakup like i said y'all this goes up under relationship advice and how to move on all that but um i feel like to get over a breakup you really just gotta take it slow I had to move the camera, but somebody said toxic relationships. I feel like you have to be a strong one to deal with that toxic relationship because all toxic is not no fun toxic. Toxic, like if it's real, real bad, I feel like that can get really draining and drain you. Like, like y'all, toxic relationships don't be all fun and games. How people be making seem like, like yeah, if it's like medium toxic, but if it's high toxic, that shit is draining. Nobody wants to deal with that. Like nobody wants to deal with no toxic ass relationship like that. Like no. Nobody let it, let it go, like, but then when it talks relationships, you really got to be a strong way. I feel like if both of y'all want it, it will definitely work, whether it's toxic or not. Like, if both of y'all want it, it will definitely work. If they wanted to, they would, and vice versa. So, with toxic relationships, you really just got to be the one for them. You got to be the one for them and vice versa for it to work. Like, that's it. Like, it's going to be, if it's going to be toxic, y'all just know y'all got to be locked in. Like, you know, because you can't be toxic and then one bad thing go wrong when they up and they dipping. Cause no, nah, it ain't gonna work like that. Um, somebody said advice on saving money. 
Yo, believe it or not, I used to be so bad at saving money. Like, every time I got money, I was just like, spend it, spend it, spend it. I never save. Like, I can never save. If I save, I save, I save money for like two days and then we're gonna spend it again. Like, I can never let it sit. But now I'm working on it, y'all. I do have a savings account now. So, I have not touched that since I put money in there. But I really feel like you just gotta be, uh, what's the word, responsible enough to not touch the money you save. Like, me personally, like, if I have cash, I automatically put it up. Like, I don't like having cash, so I just put it up, put it away, and that's in my savings. Or in my bank account, I have a, a savings account and a checkers account, so I put money in my savings account, and I don't touch it at all. But you really gotta be responsible. Like, like if you got a job and you getting paid, like, say for instance, you getting paid like four hundred dollars every two weeks or something like that. I feel like you can put like one fifty or two hundred in your savings, and you can spend up to two hundred. That like every week, you you know keep putting two hundred, two hundred, two hundred, and then boom, you saving. You can you can have how much every money you want that you were saving for, or you know just in case something happens, you still got money in your savings account. But I really feel like it's important to save because anything can happen like anything so i'm really working on it and i hopefully i can keep doing what i'm doing because i am saving for a couple things but yeah that's all i can say about my state right somebody said how do i feel about relationships school and young pregnancy relationships um i feel like right now like at my age i feel like relationships could be taken serious like you could get somewhere with relationships at the age i'm being being that i'm 18 but them little young 13 14 12 year relationships no is not gonna last but i mean hey i ain't knocking the relationship but school um so i'm not in high school i'm not gonna talk about high school but college i feel like it's a waste of time and i feel like it's a scam that's why i'm really not going because i feel like it's a waste of time i don't have nothing to go to school for i don't want to be a nurse or a doctor or a lawyer or anything like that so i feel like it's really no reason for me to go to school and i already wasn't good at school in high school and middle school so for me to go to high school i mean to for me to go to college and do it all over again it's just you know i feel like i'll be sitting there miserable and no, yeah no i just don't want to go and sit and do work all over again because i already didn't like it in high school middle school so i feel like it's i feel like college is not for me but if you have something that you want to pursue and you have something that you want to do i feel like go to college like if you want to go to college go to college and some people go to college just for their experience but me i'm not gonna waste my time i can get the college experience without going to college literally i can get myself and go to anybody's campus right now and get the college experience without doing the work so i feel like that's not for me so I don't know, maybe long down the road I'll change my mind, but right now, as we speak it today, nope, nope, nope. How I feel about pregnancy, I don't know, that's on, that's on y'all, like, if you're responsible enough to have a baby at the age that you are, like the young age, then go ahead and do it. I'm not knocking nobody pregnancy because here I am coming to be your TT baby. I'm with your baby TT because yes, I'm coming to take care of it, I love babies, but I feel like you just really gotta be responsible and make sure that you're, um, what's the word, uh, <laughs> I feel like you have to be responsible and make sure that you're, what's what I'm looking for? I don't know what I'm looking for, but you know, make sure you're able to take care of you and your baby. Like, like you can't, like you can't have something and your baby can't have nothing. Like, like you, your baby gotta have everything that you have. Or if that makes sense, like just make sure you can be able to take care. If you can take care of you and the baby, you're good. Like don't let nobody say, oh, you wrong for having a baby at this age. This age, this age, because no, you're not. Like, do you? Like, you you know what you was doing when you sat and laid down and you know did what you did. So, but no, I don't like seeing pregnancy. I mean, that's on y'all. Like I said, I could be y'all baby titi. You got a baby? You want me to come babysit? I'm free. You can call me. Somebody said, how do I handle fake friends? Me, I'm big on ghosting and cutting off. Like, I will cut anybody off in the leak of anything. Like, I don't do that no more. Like, as I done grew up, I feel like it's not good to keep around stuff that's not making you, like, making you no know, money. Like, if you got friends, they ain't, they ain't trying to see you win and they ain't trying to see you be successful, cut them off. Like, it, it takes nothing to call for no friend for real. Like, they was never your friend. If you got that thought, like, if you got that thought, if you got any bad thoughts about somebody that you call your friend, cut them off. Like, so that's why I don't have fake friends. Like, all my friends is real. All my friends is genuine. And that's why I only got, like, let me see. I only got, like, five, five, six friends, literally. So, if you got fake friends and you think they fake, cut them off. Don't even ask no questions. Just cut them off. This is yourself. Keep your distance. Like, okay. And the last thing people keep on saying, boys, boys, boys. Um, if I don't know, I do not date boys. I do not like boys. I like girls, so I really can't tell you nothing about. I really can't say anything. Like I don't know, don't know, never been in a relationship with no boys. So I don't really know how they act. I just know by the friends that I have or the couple friends that I have, niggas ain't shit like at all. Like when I say at all, I mean at all.
But if you got you a real one, hold them down. And if they got you a real one, I mean, if you the real one, they need to hold you down too. But other than that, no, niggas got shit. Like, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I touched bases on everything that everybody asked me. And I hope I explained everything right. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all of my social media platforms. And the link down in the description below. And comment down below any other videos y'all want to see because I need to make some more videos. But thank you guys for watching.